If any of you wants to be my follower, you must give up your own way, take up your cross, and follow me. The words of Jesus, spoken to Peter and the other disciples at the midpoint of Mark's Gospel, were anything but symbolic. By the second half of the first century AD, many followers of Jesus, including Peter, had to decide if the good news was worth dying for. It was not a foregone conclusion that they would lay down their lives. Peter, for his part, was famous for two things, boldly revealing Jesus' identity as the Messiah, the Son of God, and just as boldly denying that he ever knew him. Decades later, as the Roman Empire under the rule of Nero took aim at followers of Jesus, Peter made his choice clear. He would give up his life. But first, he would make sure believers in Rome and generations who came after them knew exactly what they and he were dying for. Before he died, Peter entrusted his memories about Jesus to a friend named Mark. There was little time to waste, and you can feel the urgency in Mark's Gospel. It reads like a fast-paced drama. Jesus moves quickly from one place to the next, preaching and healing. One question follows him everywhere he goes. Who is this man? The crowds want to know. The religious leaders want to know. Jesus' family and even his own disciples search for the answer. But when it's finally revealed in the middle of Mark's story, no one, not even the disciples, are prepared for what comes next. According to Mark, Jesus, not the emperor, is the Son of God. He is the one true king. But Jesus offers an upside-down kingdom where victory comes through defeat. It's only when Jesus dies and his disciples scatter that it finally becomes clear and it's a Roman soldier, one of his executioners, who realizes first, the man he just killed is the real Son of God. This is what divinity in flesh looks like. Peter entrusted his memories to Mark and wrote two letters of his own to encourage believers to make the same choice Jesus did victory through defeat, life through death, joy through suffering. Because Peter had seen the glory of Jesus too, and he had faith that he would see it again. <laughs>